We are Five Live. I'm Bobby T. And I'm Martin. And today we are talking about John Cena and Roman Reigns. But you see, if CM Punk was back, then they would be able to. CM Punk's not coming back. But if he was. He's not coming back. All right, guys, so it was a pretty big week this week in wrestling. A lot of uh, off things had happened, things we didn't really expect. Right. Um, One of them being this promo off. Yes. That we saw between John Cena and Roman Reigns. Yeah. So Cena returned to last week. He returned to Raw because he is a free agent. He can go between the two brands, um, which is, you know, smart. He's your he's your moneymaker, so you want to get him as much exposure as possible. Um, so they bring him over to Raw. Last week, they kind of didn't do much with him. This week, they pushed the Cena-Roman thing. Now, here's where I have to interject. Because okay. we had just talked about this. All the dirt sheets are reporting. Meltzer, everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, just as of two days ago, mm-hmm. we're reporting completely different futures in the WWE and how things were going to go. Okay. Then a couple wrenches got thrown in, and everything just changed. Yeah, the injury bug is going around. Uh, you have a combination of the injury bug mixed with the Hollywood bug. Yep. Um, John Cena makes no questions about it anymore. He makes movies. He does these things. He's turning into The Rock. Yep. Um, he is going to be in the next Transformers film. There is another Transformers film <laughs> coming. Won't stop. They won't stop. So um, <laughs> I think at this point they feel like they have to keep making these movies. I don't quite get it. So anyway. Um, Just make a Ron Space Knight film. After, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> After the uh, Shinsuke Nakamura John Cena botch, yes. the exploder into the back yes. of Cena's neck. Yep. The director, I'm sorry, the producer of the next movie and the CEO of this company says, "Absolutely not. No more wrestling for John Cena. Not while he's under contract to make this movie. Because if he gets hurt, what are we going to do? Right. Uh, I guess they don't want to deal with another Shia LaBeouf broke his arm. Now we have to work around his broken DUI arm." Uh, I, you didn't know about that? I really don't care. Yeah, about second that. Transformers, he got a DUI, uh, uh, okay. broke his arm in the in the car crash, and they had to write that into the film because uh, he had a broken arm. So they had to figure out, like, oh no, a Decepticon broken arm. Oh wow, so, yeah, that mo- that was hard. Yeah, so um, well, they don't want to do that again. <laughs> I no, one, no one wants to explain why John Cena has a broken neck. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> in, so, in the new Transformers, yes. So um, so we have that going on on one hand. That they're saying basically that once filming starts, no more John Cena in the WWE until fi- until filming is over. Gotcha. So we have that going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was supposed to. When does filming start? By the way, filming starts if I heard it correctly shortly after No Mercy. It's uh, why okay. this huge match is being pushed out. Yeah, because No Mercy kind of seems like a B pay per view, and then, then it's, it's getting, getting pushed. And it's getting a you know as they said last night, a WrestleMania um, really level is. match. Which is Roman versus Cena. Yeah, so um, now on the other hand, I guess what was supposed to happen was uh, Cena was supposed to feud with Joe. Something right. we've all wanted to see for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Um, then after that, would go on to feuding with Roman, moving into WrestleMania. Yes. Uh, that has now been scrapped because Joe is injured. Joe's going to be out for ah, okay. six to eight weeks. Um, it's not looking good. He he's probably not going to come rushing back. He really shouldn't. He's, no, he's already no to reason this point. To. Exactly. Just chill out. Yeah. You'll be there for WrestleMania, and that's all that really matters. So don't, you know, don't worry. Um, but this thro- throws a huge wrench in the plans because the other side of things was that they were possibly looking, and again, this is every mm-hmm. site, every reputable person who has filthy mark. This is yeah, <laughs> it could be. Uh, but it was supposed to be um, Cena. I'm sorry. Uh, Miz versus Roman at No Mercy, and we were going to see Roman Reigns win the Intercontinental Championship. That's awful. Yes, okay, so I'm going to argue, I'm going to play devil's advocate to this. (laughs) I'm going to play devil's advocate to this, because on Raw, we have just recently complained that Mm -hmm. there is no title, and that the Intercontinental Championship Mm -hmm. needs to be the championship, Mm -hmm. but... If you're going to use Miz the way you're using him as what really is a lower middle card guy, right? That's I mean that's who you put on the opening show and nobody's in the building of one of your biggest shows of the year, right? right. Jobbers, yep. House show jobbers. Um, so they clearly need to raise this belt up a little bit. If Brock's going to be your champion, what the hell are you going to do right. with the belt? So we were saying they have a talent clog sitting up at the top right now. This is a way to kind of mix up that clog a little bit. 
to maybe. I mean, it, look, it's still going to be on Roman. Right. So it's not coming off of him. You would at least have a championship where we may see higher level people going after him, as opposed to a Jason Jordan going yeah. after the IC. We might see Dean Ambrose or, or a Jeff Hardy going after the IC. Well, we're going to talk about that in our next video of of uh, uh, good old Five Alive. But why? Yeah. Because I don't understand that move. But not that's not I. what we're talking about. Uh, so this would this would have made Roman a Grand Slam champion, a modern day why? Grand Slam. Why? Like, um, why? Because Vince loves him. But why? Yeah, that's the answer. I, this that. this promo proved little else but but what everyone says about Roman, which is he can't hang. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And, not. and that's the thing is like this promo is very clearly was was written for him. To attempt to hang, mm. and he can't hang. It, well, and, the blank look, spot was... Well, and again, here's the thing. It's Cena. So there's not very, very many guys in the company who can hang with Cena. Mm. But there are guys who can do it, and he ain't one of them. And it's not Roman. Yeah. As um, Cena said, you've been in this company for five years. You think you'd be able to cut a promo by now. Yeah, and then also railing on him, just saying, um, you might say I'm a part-timer, which is funny because he was giving... Cena was giving the same exact to the argument Rockets. to the yeah, Rock. Cena Rock. Like it's all yeah, coming exactly. right back around. Yeah. Um, but, and I, I wish I could disagree with John Cena here. I really wish I could. But he is, yeah, he's a part-timer, but he's so much better than a lot of people on that roster. But, and again, even as a part Roman came back with that, you know, oh, you're a part-timer, you're, uh, you know... Um, you bury people, you've got your magic shovel, da da da. And it's like, if, if that was absolutely true, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura would not be in the place that they are. Yeah. Because John Cena would have buried them. Yeah, absolutely. He, he is not Hogan. Cena, yeah. for all his evils, is not Hulk Hogan. See, I, I say, and I've made this argument for Roman Reigns in the past. Now, no, I am not a Roman Reigns fan. No one is. But. <laughs> we have to look at both sides of the card sometimes, mm -hmm. and it's very easy. It's very easy to hate. It's it's a little harder to look at and go, okay, here's why I like it. Um, I don't blame Roman Reigns for what's happening here, in the same way that I don't blame John Cena. Uh, I, to make your point, mm -hmm. John Cena is not Hulk Hogan. Right. Hulk Hogan knew what he was doing. It was deliberate. He was making these political moves. John Cena is a good soldier. Yeah. He's he's I, now a general. But again, I would not I'm not blaming but Roman he Reigns. In the I'm trenches. not blaming Roman Reigns for mm -hmm. for his current situation. Suffer Succotash. I'm blaming him for not having the balls to go. I'm not saying that. Yeah. No, it's it's rough. Um he 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 definitely went a little too far, but I think that this promo off was really really good. People are calling it a pipe bomb, pipe bomb 3. It really isn't. The, the I think the biggest problem with the this generation of superstars is tied into their attitudes towards the business because mm -hmm. for the most part they grew up wanting to be in the business and they grew up uh you know looking at being in the business as their dream whereas you know the last generation that wasn't really true it was mostly just i'm a big tough guy yeah, body, so like bodybuilders yeah. who became carnies. right or i'm i'm a big tough guy so i'm gonna go do this tough, what else can tough guys do became deeper carnies. so when the boss came to you with a dumb idea you said i'm not doing that yeah now it same. doesn't always work but it think i think it's a better it, I, I honestly think it's it was somewhat of a better situation than we're in now which is oh, well just realize something you have a job and this, I'm the boss, and you're going to do this. And you're like, well, yeah, it's my job, so I'm going to do it. Bailey. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. They're good soldiers. And good She's soldiers. An awesome soldier. Good soldiers become dead soldiers. Yep. That's, that's all it that's is. That's all this is. And Sasha uh, is a perfect example. Again, we'll be talking about that yeah. and the fact that she's a four-time winner, four-time loser of yeah. that belt. And it makes me furious. Um, I, I just don't understand this. Be, but they, uh, we're talking we're talking Cena versus Reigns right now. We have a whole other video to rant out on that. <laughs> so um, I guess if you liked it, leave a message down in the comments if you disagree with what we had said. Um, I think this was pretty good, but at the same time, I don't think it was a pipe bomb. But it was a moment it's that a good, got was, me to stop and watch promos. Exactly. I, that was that was my my biggest issue with this this episode of Raw. Is there were there were there were moments like this which were 
extremely good. And then there were moments like the Sasha thing and the Jeff Hardy thing that made you go, why would you do something like that? Yes. Yeah. So it was, it came, I think within a mixed bag. It was definitely one of the high points of the night. Um, again, leave a comment, tell us whether you liked it, disliked it, disagree with us or totally agree with us. But with that, we have been five alive and I'm Bobby T. I'm Martin. Uh, click like, share, subscribe at five live VP on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And, uh, We'll see you next time. All right. Supper and suckers.